Strauss's claim is that the Gospels are unreliable sources in two ways. Firstly, they're full of inconsistencies. Different Gospels say different things about the life of Jesus. Secondly, they're full of miracles. And in making that argument, it helped Strauss to be able to claim that the Gospels were very late texts, the end product of a long period of myth-making. Some people are concerned about New Testament discrepancies in the text. For example, the eyewitness details. Some say that there was one angel at the tomb. One document says that. Another document says there were two angels at the tomb. Another document says such and such a person got to the tomb first. Another document implies other people got to the tomb first. What's right? How can we even trust these documents? Well, that is exactly what we should expect from eyewitness details from an eyewitness account. Any judge that has two eyewitnesses come into his courtroom and give word-for-word -word testimony exactly of, about what happened, including all of the details, is going to immediately assume these two eyewitnesses are in collusion. And they would be, because eyewitnesses agree on the major event, there was a resurrection, they may disagree over the minor details. Let me give you an example of this from the Titanic. As you know, the Titanic went down in 1912. Some of the eyewitnesses, the survivors, said the Titanic went down whole. Others said it broke in half before it went down. Well, gee, I guess we can't believe that the Titanic sank then, can we? Because the eyewitnesses disagree. No, they all agree the Titanic went down. They agree on the major event. They may disagree over the details. The same thing is true about the resurrection. They may disagree about how many angels were there or who got to the tomb first, but they all agree there was a resurrection. And that's the main point about Christianity. There was a resurrection and that's what all the eyewitnesses say.